Hi, I'm Sarah from SidetrackSarah.com and I know I've been missing in action for a little while, but I am trying to make my way back into the YouTube world where I can share some of my easy recipes, not only to help you, but to help our family too. We got back into that rut of eating out again a little too often and we're spending all kinds of money on it. And so um, I've decided I want to work through some of my meal plan recipes and some of my um, just other easy recipes that we use as a family and then just share other ones that we're giving a try to. So anyway, today I'm going to start with a recipe I've had on my blog and I'll link to it below. And it's a um, instant pot beef and cheesy potatoes recipe. And we've had a lot of um, people say that they've failed on it. And so I've rewritten the instructions and I'm doing it all over again so that nobody has a fail or a burn notice or anything like that. So it's a really easy recipe for using um, ground beef with, and I'm gonna brown mine on the stove just cause I like to do that better than in the Instant Pot. But anyway, let's get started with that. And then I'll show you just how easy this is. While I'm waiting for the ground beef to brown, which I will be stirring it off and on, but I just wanted to take a second to explain a little bit about what we've been up to. So my husband and I, we have a um, Amazon selling business along with my blog and this YouTube channel, and we also homeschool our kids. We have seven kids. Three of them have graduated high school um, and are in college. And we still have four at home that, well, we have five at home, but four that we are currently homeschooling as well. So to say life is busy is definitely an understatement with our family. And so anyway, over the past several months, I kept thinking, I'm going to get back to this YouTube channel. I'm going to get back to it. But um, the busyness of life just kept getting in the way. And to be honest, we are actually going to be moving at the end of this year or possibly in... Sorry, the potatoes started to fall. Um, possibly at the beginning of 2022, we're buying my parents' house and we're gonna move over with them. And we have been so incredibly busy that all of our, the last 10 years, well, we've lived in this house for 12 years and we've never even finished updating it. And um, there's so many projects that we have to get done that we'll be working on throughout this next few months, all while having a really busy Q4 for um, our Amazon business. And anyway, um, one of the things that's kept me from wanting to do videos is my kitchen is always a wreck. And so um, I've decided I'm sick of living with my kitchen a wreck and I just, that's when I decided to come back and do these videos. I'm like, I'm not gonna show you guys my, I might show you a messy kitchen occasionally, but you don't wanna see it with my sink stacked above way both sides stacked way above but anyway just so you know our you know our kitchen we've been planning to remodel it for 10 years we have plenty of things wrong with our house but i'm just going to be real show you what's going on in our house right now and um probably show you the updates as we're making them and of course the food all the yummy food so i really appreciate you hanging in with me and i hope to see you on more videos and um I'm just excited to get back going with this YouTube channel. So I was getting ready to start putting stuff in and I saw how dirty the rim of my Instant Pot is. Does your guys' get like this? Let's see if I can focus on it. It's kind of blurry. But, um, you know, this is one of those things where I just let sit like this. But since I'm letting company in my house, you guys are my company then I'm gonna clean this thing up so you don't have to look at my crumbs and it is getting gross. So it's time to clean that thing up and I just take a cloth, a wet washcloth and wipe it out. And if it gets a little grimy, then I just, um, like greasy, then I use a little dish detergent to get all that out. It's a bit of a pain to get out. I wish they had a better design for cleaning that part out. And you can see how much I've used it. I'm starting to rub this part raw because I use my instant pot all the time and it's losing its color. All 
right, the meat is almost done. There's really not much fat, so I'm probably not even going to worry about draining it this time. I got a leaner cut of meat. Okay, so I'm going to put a tablespoon of oregano, which it calls for Italian seasoning, and I just ran out apparently. So I'm going to put that on a plate along with some paprika and salt and pepper. And I'm going to mix it up before I put it in my layers. Alright, you can see where I was starting to try and mix my spices and I totally overkilled the paprika. And here I've got my recipe up from my website. That's why my phone is sitting there. I'm going to put water in the bottom. I put my trivet in. And it's got to take two cups of water because there's a lot of layers to get through. Okay, so now I can't actually show you in the pot because I can't hold the camera and I'm by myself right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take potatoes and put them, in, put them on the, along the bottom of the trivet. Sorry, I know you, I have to duck down so you can see me. And then I'm going to layer it with um, meat and cheese. And originally I had called for this recipe to have foil so it's easy to get out. But it seemed like the foil was blocking all of the um, steam from getting to the potatoes and that's where we ended up having the problem. And so at one point we tried stacking um, little pans in there and that also, we still had hard potatoes. So once I did it this way without the foil and without the pans, it worked. I'm gonna use my hands to go fast because I have to go pick up my kids from church. So here's this layer. The only problem with this part of it is that if anything falls below, then it's kind of in water a little bit. So, um, just do it carefully and it's not going to hurt it to be in water, it just might be a little soupy on the bottom, but it's usually worth it. So I put a little bit of meat, a little bit of cheese, like my potatoes, and then, well, as I breathe on that, make it all go. All right, here's where we are so far. My camera died on the other one. So um, you can see kind of how there's water in the bottom. I'm trying to keep it on the trivet so that, but you can see a little bit fell through and that's okay. So I'm gonna do two more layers of this, but I'm not gonna show you while I'm doing it because I don't have enough hands, but I'll show you the afterwards. Okay, so this is the last layer. This was the third layer and basically it's the same thing. I did um, spices. I did potatoes, meat, spices, cheese, potatoes, meat, spices, cheese, and then I did potatoes, meat, and I'm going to wait on the last layer of cheese till the end after I get it out just because I think it'll melt nicely over the top and it won't get too goopy. So, all right, so now I'm just going to put the lid on it and cook it for 20 minutes on manual pressure. So for this one, this is my eight quart, and so I'm going to put pressure cook. It's already set for 20 minutes. And so I just need to make sure that my valve has set to sealing, which it was not. And then it went on and now I just wait the 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes is up, I'll just let the steam out and, and quick release the steam. I don't have to wait. All right, I'm going to take the lid off. We're going to see what it looks like. Hmm, oh, now it's all foggy. Hang on. So it just looks almost like we left it, but I'm gonna melt some cheese on it. And I can't keep it from, uh, oh, there we go. So we'll melt some cheese on the top and I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. And this is Quinley's and she doesn't like cheese. She's seven. And this is for Colton, because he does like cheese. You can see how easy it just scoops out. The potatoes are nice and done. One thing I didn't talk about is that you can um, peel the potatoes if 
peel of potatoes bothers you, but it doesn't usually bother us, so I left it on for ease this time. In the meantime, check out what all my kids make. While I was out on a date with my husband last night, they made chili, cinnamon rolls, pumpkin bread, banana bread, and apple cider in the crock pot, plus frosting for the cinnamon rolls. It was delicious looking, and I wish I had of videoed some of that. I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. If you'd like to see more slow cooker, instant pot, or just easy food recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.